Hey guys, Jay Lagon here, the disruptor over in Twitter. Uh, I'm here to share with you some of the results from our quant model that we ran yesterday at close. DPST, right? That's a 3x regional bank ETF, uh, skyrocketed 7% yesterday, right to the top of our model. No better time now than to jump into financials. People were talking about it over on Bintwit saying financials are ripping, that's what's moving, that's what's happening. I want to look at it and see if that's really the case. And if so, do I really want to be in something like DPST, regional banks, something like that? So what do you say we all take a look and see how that looks for us, all right? All right, cheers. So let's uh, let's get back here to, uh, to the very beginning where I've got XLF, okay? So if you're not sure, if you're not aware, that is the S&P spider, kind of the sector of financials. Uh, and, and for me, right, you can see clearly that this thing uh, has just not really done much. It's kind of been in this weird phase where it doesn't know what its identity is. It doesn't know if it's in an uptrend, doesn't know if it's in a downtrend. It's just saying, blah. For me, when I trade, it's all about probability. Do I have a high probability trade or low probability? So you do a coin toss, right? That's 50-50, right? You have 50% chance you get heads, 50% chance you get tails. Sometimes you win more, sometimes you lose more, but overall it should average out 50%. For me, there's no clear guidance as to whether I have a high probability or low probability when I start looking at trading financials. That's XLF. But I know everyone's talking about it, so I think we need to dig a little deeper and figure out what it is that I might be missing. So if we break it down here by performance, okay, these are uh, various uh, aspects of financials. We have uh, FinTech, uh, that's the orange one that's definitely outperforming when you look at six months, okay? Below that's the black, which is SPY, S&P 500. And then below that you have XLF and then the banks. You have um, uh, KBE, which are the big banks, and then KRE, which are the regional banks, right? And so we see here, yeah, if, if you were in financials, you really wanted to be in fintech. That, that would have done you well over the six months, but we're not really looking at what we do six months ago. We're looking at kind of what we do more now. So currently in this month, you can see that SPY is actually at the bottom of this performance. SPY is the dog here. It's just not doing it. It's not hanging out. It's not winning. What is winning are those regional banks. Now, things can make a big move without actually having a trend, right? So we need to be a little cautious of this and wonder, does this mean that I want to get in on regional banks or not? So we need to dive in a little bit more. The first thing I want to do is I want to say, okay, is there any real hope for this sector? And so what I did is I ran uh, a ratio chart. This is like where I say one thing versus another thing. And so I have SPY, S&P 500, versus financials, XLF. XLF is like the denominator, SPY is the numerator. This is my fraction, okay, my ratio, okay? And so here it is. And you can see that there's this level that's worked for a while, right? Um, and, and it was working as resistance, you know, just... Uh, SPY was having a hard time uh, overpowering financials in that area, uh, but then it certainly did. Um, and now it's curving back down and look, it's even gotten below that level. Usually we wanna see those levels hold and it's just not holding, which makes me think that, hey, financials might have a run here, which would be pretty exciting. And so I wanna know what that's gonna be and I wanna be a part of it if that is really happening. But XLF versus uh, SPY or SPY versus XLF is in the case of this chart, may not be really what we're looking for. So again, we're gonna dive deeper under the hood. And now we wanna look at regional banks. You know me, I love breaking above those previous highs. I've got all the things I like here. I've got my higher low, I've got, I'm breaking above that previous high. This to me is that one, two, three reversal, except that there's no trend line that we've broken here. Um, it, it's just not there unless you're looking at a really short-term trend line. That makes me feel a little nervous. Um, I would imagine that um, if I'd have ran some moving averages on here, that would have been really foretelling. I'll remember to do that next time. But when I look at this, I'm thinking regional banks look great. They look great now. I want to be a part of this trade. Might want to set a target there that uh, where that support was on the regional banks in the past. That might act as resistance. But for right now, Regional banks look pretty good. 
In fact, if I run a ratio on them, um, they look pretty much the same as XLF, but there is one caveat. Um, I'm not seeing uh, SPY break down here relative to regional banks yet. It has broken down to XLF, so that gives me a moment of pause. So at this point, I need to decide what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to get into regional banks, probably thinking that I would do it in the short term with a clear target. But what if I'm feeling like YOLO in, right? This is DPST. These are regional banks 3x. What that means is you take what KRE does and you multiply it by three. So three times the gain, three times the loss. High risk, YOLO for sure. But if you're feeling bullish on uh, regional banks, this might be a way to do it. Definitely a way to get a little bit of exposure with big runs. Uh, you can see here clearly I've tried drawing a trend line. I have no real, nothing really to base this on, but if that worked out, that would be fine. I would still want to set that uh, that target at the previous support. Hey, hope this is uh, helpful, guys. Have fun looking at the financials, the regional banks, the big banks. Uh, FinTech's exciting. I will throw out that I saw Riot today, um, looking like it might be bouncing off that 20-day moving average along with blockchain. So I'm kind of yoloing over there. Hey, cheers, y'all.